Is this what you wanted? Part 1 Close Calls Woo! Oh yeah, baby! Welcome, welcome and welcome, guys! 4463 Ava Fist. Swap to Shadow Edge for catching potential and Inferno Shield as he is on Pharaoh. Turned back, expecting him to E, he did it. Sidestep the second part, Shadow Edge just in case. Keeping my other spells, expecting he's disengaged by Rogue. Cultist Cabal to buy time for damaging. Inferno shield too early as he simply purged it. Disengage again with Pharaoh, tried to shadow edge but didn't hit, kite it back to get my cooldowns. He messed up his combo and now I know that I can continue chasing as he has no second E part for Undead Cape Reveal. Stacking my Qs in Undead for extra damage and as soon as the buff ends E for execute. Very nice fists. 6 3 carving. He dismounted before I had time to swap spells, so I mounted, but he used everything to dismount me. Big, big mistake. Point of advice don't swap to these spells if you don't know what to do, as you will get punished very easily. Stalker Jacket to let him purge me early, then immediate cultist cover. He didn't use Mistwalker Jacket as he saved it for Undead Execute, probably. I knew he wants to pop his Undead Cape by mobs, so I don't waste my boots. He expected him to turn sides, as most of the guys do it, I was right. He mounted and laughed, not for long, managed to dismount him and the chase continues. He chased Cabbage Soup in Mistwalker Jacket and managed to swap foods, I didn't have enough time to swap unfortunately. But he had no defense for my cultist cavalry and no undead cave. Chain slash to iframe his splitting slash and E for cash grab. GG. Versus another 6 3 Ava Fist, these were with Avalon Cave. Same spells as before, Shadow Edge and Inferno Shield. This time didn't react in time and ate full combo, but popped Inferno Shield right afterwards, so it hurt him a lot too. Shadow Edge to close the gap before he will have his cooldowns back. Two Qs and kiting back to get my cooldowns as his E was very close to ready. Mouse and Cat, I really hoped he will close the gap and I luckily managed to queue back at the same time as he used his E. But the Shadow Edge was memes came back to him just to let him full combo me again. He probed my Undead Cape too early, I am dead here. Just kidding, I got lucky. Look at my E damage, rewatch it. Exactly the amount of his HP left, lol. I mean, that was close. 6 3 armor of Valor prowling, that's why I swapped Q and Stalker Jacket to Inferno Shield. Closing away with E, dashing away from his W with my W. Inferno shield for his transfer. Boots to get away from his W faster. Disengage on his armor of valor. Cultist cover for his transfer, he disengaged with boots, I had no cooldown, so I accepted and kited on the other side. Cooldowns are ready, let's rumble. He expected his W so dashed away. Cultist Cabal has used boots to get close. Inferno Shield and E in the very same moment as he used W to finish me. Damn, these fights are getting too dangerous for my liking. Just a fun moment with 6 3 Double Blade. I have no idea what he was doing, but getting rooted by Archer to get stunned after that by Big Mob PvE is really hard. Managed to reset E cooldown just as he left, which helped me caught up with him. Poor guy. Full spec 6-3 Prowling. I hate fighting them and I had no undead cape from our previous trade, but he managed to dismount me because I was looking at him like a kid on an ice cream shop. 
keep damaging after dismounting, dash away from pool. Baiting his porridge with my boots. Immediate turn back. Stalker juke it for his transfer. Everything looks perfect. But I used cultist cavalry way too early as he just hid in his pool. Dumb mistake. Nearly got him with my E, but nearly doesn't count. By the way, I forgot to chunk HP potion. Damn. Fucking cat? Let's check some loot I got on the way with couple funny story times and just chill edit. Also, you will see how I came to idea of soldier armor dead givers. After that, I'm going to show some more fights. Enjoy. Too much fun and it's not supposed to be fun. Versus tier 8 bow of Badon. Shadow Edge for catching and eye framing, Inferno Shield as his better defensive versus his E, as on my Stalker jacket he can just go in this. He disengaged well on my cultist cavel, I should have saved it after his W. Same goes with my Shadow Edge, rookie mistake. Keeping my Shadow Edge now for his E to iframe it. Damn, it still hurts with his Purity Calo damage. Got both my cooldowns ready, Inferno Shield and Cultist Cavalry to make closing gap easier. Popped my Undead Cape ready to finish him. One more Q, auto attacks, as soon as I got revealed Shadow Edge to hold him on spot and dodge potential Qs. But the E wasn't enough, damn, I'm dead. Saw him hiding in Assassin Jacket, so I immediately turned on the other side and barely dodged his E. Waiting for my health potion as I will die in his purity cow if I turn back now. Full sending it, hoping for the best. Shadow Edge through the wall and E before he kills me with any ability, literally. Close one again. Now you know why this episode is called Close Calls. Versus 7 free Hellfire Hands, the Equartizer, if you watch these videos. I had hella loot in me, but I tried my luck anyway. Ate his first combo because I was late with W to side. He popped in this, so I turned back immediately. He used energy pot, meaning his next combo will be very soon up, so I keep my distance and when he gets close, I used E and W and boost to kite through him. Now we both have our cooldowns, but I turned back too soon as I had no W ready to dodge his royal helmet stun. Well, I ate his combo and he popped my buff, but he has no boots and W, so I continue chasing until he pops his assassin jiggy. OC, because this is getting intense. He 
Hit I wanted to kill him with W E combo, but I was less than half second late with my E and managed to die to this full combo. GG. But the guy was super chill and seems like also friend with T Benji, who I made friends with him past month by dueling him in a setup in Duo Mist. And this came really handy as he offered me my set and couple stuff back. Really, really nice guy. Thank you, Zati. Again, guys, thank you very much for all the support. This is part one of six three blood letter video called Close Calls. The second one and last one is called Insanely Gucci Kills because. Well, I'm going to slay some really rich guys in this set, so stay tuned. No big talking in the end of this video, I just hope I satisfied your blood letter needs. For next giveaway I will give away 2 weeks premium, just let your in-game link in comments to participate. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to me. It's just the one click to you, but it means a lot to me. Thank you. He's the best guy, I'm so fucking handsome. Congrats for the giveaway winner of Premium and Awakened Blood Letter, add me in game and on Discord. Read the description on how you can do it. Great weekend to you guys, your noob grinder. I've been meaning to read into it, time to put it to rest. Is it stress? Is it that I ain't answer your text? Don't you treat it like a music?